Hello Scorpio and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this timeless tarot reading regarding what's holding you back at this time and what you can do about it. Now this can be any situation. This is a general reading. So this could be work, a relationship, um, any kind of situation that uh, applies to you. So this is for Scorpio in Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. So let's get right into the reading with the animal spirits to give you some guidance. Okay. We start with Fox Spirit, number 27. Think on your feet. And then next we have number 42, Otter Spirit. You are never alone. Okay. This could be because uh, you're never alone. You do have to think on your feet. And this could also mean that you don't necessarily enjoy being alone. Fox does tend to be a solitary animal to where the otter has a family surrounding it. It's a feminine energy, it's playful, and so you are never alone when you need to be playful, but this can also be a distraction too from thinking because other people can insert their ideas and this can cause confusion. So. It could be that you're not really quite sure what your own mind is because you are having to think on your feet and you're never alone so you don't really get that chance to process that information on your own of the situation whatever it may be for you Scorpio so let's see what it is that is holding you back for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising, we start with Temperance. Okay, there could be an imbalance. Um, you may feel like you want to start something over uh, because Temperance is about an initiation of new beginnings. But this is also a card of alchemy, a card of blending. But because this is what is challenging you right now, what's holding you back, it could be that you're not finding the right blend of people to be around you. Um, could be that you're finding it more challenging to be prepared to start this new beginning, to reach this new goal, or it could be that you're struggling in what you want that new goal to even look like. It could be that too many people are telling you what to do next. And it's just adding to your confusion and discontentment. Because this is what's holding you back is this inner discontentment. But it can also be that you've become too comfortable in your space and again when you blend things too much it becomes saturated it loses its potency and that could be part of what's holding you back is that you you're not inspired right now and this is um contemplation thinking about what it is that you do have but it could be that your thoughts are wandering you're lost in daydreams and there's nothing wrong with daydreams you can become quite inspired in your daydreams but you can also become lost and unable to, to begin something new you may be in a position where you you're not sure something has ended but you're not sure 
where to begin right now. And so you're just kind of stuck in a rut. That's what I'm feeling from this. Okay, let's see what you can do about this, Scorpio. Let's shine some light on this situation. Okay, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising, and the world. Okay. It could be that you're not sure where you fit in in the world right now because we do have this temperance of balancing and this initiating a new beginning. Um, and there, the world has opportunities, but it could be that you might not be able to see what those opportunities are. Uh, if there might be too many and so you are getting lost in the opportunities that are offered to you. And again, y here we have never alone. So you have opportunity there, but you just seem kind of stuck to me. Okay, right here. Um, this feels like that you're fighting for a cause. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for your rights. Perhaps there is something that you feel strongly about in the world that um, some cause that is calling you into action. And maybe that's bringing you healing. So it could be that you need to find what moves you it seems like that you are motivated by a cause, a cause that brings healing to yourself and the world. Somehow you want to make the world a better place by your actions, but it's such a big thing that you're not really sure where to start or how to start. Okay, let's see what's going to come of the Scorpio. Okay, what are the results for you? What could happen? Okay, the Two of Cups, the beginning of a relationship. Okay. Here, temperance is holding these two cups, blending these liquids together. Here, this is a blending of the masculine and feminine energies. This can be a beginning of a beautiful relationship for you, Scorpio. Someone who understands you, someone who can balance you. And together, you start on this journey in the world. Okay, let's see what else comes up for you. Okay, the Eight of Cups. Okay, this is leaving a situation behind to go off to be alone. You need some alone time. And this might be with this special one person. But here there's a situation where there's nothing else that you can do, which is leaving you feeling discontented and then making you also feel a bit rebellious. So it's like you're going to go off and fight for your cause. Because here we have this man and he's holding his staff right there in his hand. Right, and then we have the Six of Swords. Okay, this can be a beautiful relationship because the Six of Swords is about bringing harmony. This is leaving the troubled waters to go into the calmer waters. This can also be about a proposal of love. And I say that because we have the Two of Cups here 
and we also have this temperance card and this world card and with this it seems like that this person is going to be very special to you and I think you're you're going to learn a lot about each other um, on this journey that you're going to take together and you're going off into the world together and this person is going to be very healing for you because here we have this contemplation but also kind of lost and I'm not really sure what to do with what I have and here you're moving away from that into the healing cup the holy grail this is almost leaving the troubled waters and going to the island of Avalon where the holy grail is and for your own personal healing this is you are filled with so much love in your heart that your cup is running over this is very very positive for you Scorpio okay let's draw a couple more messages some final messages to end this reading from the whispering woods for Scorpio Sun Moon Venus and or rising okay and we have time embrace in the dewdrops of life before they disappear with the morning sun okay think on your feet embrace those dewdrops before they disappear and this is also as you know letting you know there's kind of an urgency don't let this lovely opportunity pass you by it's time to embrace that adventure live wild and free okay here we have this person going off on an adventure to go discover themselves their deeper selves their purpose who they are at this time and you're never alone on your adventure and the otter is a very playful spirit and a great companion to have on any adventure okay Scorpio I'm gonna end your reading here I hope this gives you some resonation some confirmation remember this is a general reading so just take that which feels right for you and leave the rest. Till next time, take care.